Are you ready? This is Team Bandy Twenty. And every day is game day. You think you could tell? Hey guys, Liberty Band Twenty here. Uh, we are it now in week number four of college football. Uh, Liberty knocked off number seven Montana, thirty-one twenty-one. It was a great game. Uh, couldn't have been happier to see us finally knock off a top, another top ten opponent at home. Uh, which was cool. It was the first time two top 15 teams in the FCS came to Williams Stadium. It was a nice matchup. Uh, that's, that's all I'm going to say. Is we won a great game, great fan base. We broke another Williams Stadium record of 22,500 uh, fans. It was it was just electric. It was It's really awesome. Uh, I can't wait for November 19th, Thursday on ESPN News, Liberty versus Coastal. So that's going to be a good game, so I'm expecting the record that we set this year, uh, this game, to be broken. So I'm going to get right to Liberty versus SIU. SIU is in the Missouri Valley Conference, uh, arguably the best conference in FCS. It's you know measured to the SCC. Uh, this is also the same conference where the four-time defending North Dakota State uh, Bison are uh, as champions. So, it's something to say. SIU has had two close games. They lost against Southeast Missouri 27-24 and almost beat Indiana University, but lost 48-47. to Their QB is their best player. Our, uh, hands down, he can pass, although he is prone to throwing interceptions. He threw three against uh, Indiana, I believe. They've had seven total turnovers. They've, all, they've had a lot of turnovers, actually. Uh... They, they're just good. I mean, both their games have been close, so defense, depending on how much you really look at it. So I'm expecting this game between Liberty and SIU to be really close. They've won 12 of their last 13 home openers, so it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be really tough. I think at least to start off because we've never faced them before. This is the first meeting. Uh, Liberty is currently one and two in the last three years against uh, Missouri Valley teams. The first win actually coming against Montana, and the, we lost to Montana, lost to Indiana State, and then beat Montana. So we played very well, actually, against them. It's just we lost. Uh, Liberty, in other good news, is ranked number 10 in the FCS polls. Uh, this is the highest we've been ranked since 1994, so 24 years. That's really something to say. 25, arguably, but it's awesome to say. I'm really looking forward to this game. It's a good chance to go three and one. It's a big step to go into three and one when we face Georgia State the week after. So being three and one or being three and one going against Georgia State should be good. But for this week, top ten, two and one going in against a team that's zero and two. Uh, we don't want to go in too confident because if we do, then it's just gonna we just we might lose. But I, d I doubt it will. Uh, keys to winning the game is pressure, 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 like we did against uh, Missouri. Uh, turnovers, because they've had so many. And just keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, playing awesome, playing hard. Uh, I'm really excited now. I, I do know that I was very, very optimistic against West Virginia. But uh, we're playing better now. So that's, that's it, guys. This is Liberty Band 20. And every day is game day. Oh. Really quick, my uh, prediction, 35-14 Liberty.